Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited because today we're gonna to be doing another period product review. Before I get further into this review, I want to mention today's sponsor, which is Modern Fertility. You guys know that I love Modern Fertility. I love everything that they are doing. They are making at-home hormone and fertility testing more accessible to people. They're making it more affordable for people, and I just, I love that. If you're not familiar with Modern Fertility, I will leave my in-depth review of their company and the product underneath this video. I did a whole thing where I tested myself, I shared my results with you guys, and kind of talked you through the process of taking the test at home and sending it back in. Now, a lot of you guys know that I myself have been tested for my fertility when I donated eggs years ago. So I'm very familiar with how expensive fertility testing is to begin with, especially if you don't have great insurance or maybe your insurance doesn't cover fertility testing. Now, even though fertility is in the company's name, Modern Fertility's testing kit not only tests for fertility issues, but it also can test for different issues that you may be having, whether it's for undiagnosed PCOS or thyroid issues. It tests a full range of different things in your blood to see if maybe there's something else that's a little imbalance that could be throwing off your whole body or your cycle or moods. Family planning on its own can be a really difficult thing and because the world is the way it is right now we're in a pandemic you know the economy is up and down it makes it even more difficult to kind of think about where you want to be five years from now six years from now ten years from now and for those of you who are maybe facing that decision and facing whether or not you want to start your family now or wait till later. That's where modern fertility can come in really handy because it can help tell you where you're at in regards to your reproductive system and kind of helping you figure out what the next steps should be. In each modern fertility kit that you do get, you get a little pouch right here which you can keep little odds and ends in. You get a card in here that gets your testing number in it. Again, I did do a full review of this on my channel. Again, I'll leave that link underneath this video. And then you get all of your testing equipment underneath that. The people testing your results are lab professionals. The people who are looking at your results are actual physicians. Everything is professional, certified, and up to date in regards to all the fertility laws and standards. If when they test your kit there's any issues that arise, they will send you a free one to redo it. But I have not heard from anyone who's actually taken this test through my links and who has gotten it because of my review video. I've not heard a single person have a negative or a bad interaction, not only with modern fertility, but with the testing itself. I believe in all forms of family planning. You guys know I was adopted, I've donated eggs, I've had kids the natural way. Whatever family planning means to you in my mind is A-OK -okay, and it just makes me really happy that at home affordable services like Modern Fertility are so widely available now for those who are now facing that decision of when and how to have children of their own. Also another neat thing about Modern Fertility is not only they're affordable, but a lot of FSA and HSAs do cover the cost of the test, so make sure to look into that. And also, if you are currently pregnant or you're trying to conceive, they also sell affordable pregnancy tests, ovulation strips, and prenatals on their website as well, which I will also leave underneath this video. If you use my link under this video, I do have a coupon that is attached to that link. It is an affiliate link, however, so I do get credit for that, which helps my channel and my family, so I always appreciate you shopping through those. But yeah, thank you Modern Fertility for sponsoring today's video. I love sharing products that are helpful to my viewers and have, that have been helpful to myself as well. Speaking of things that are helpful and useful to the population, let's talk about the period underwear that I'm reviewing today, which is the Victoria's Secret period underwear. Now I have to say a quick thank you to the subscribers who tagged me in ads for these underwear and who asked me to do this review. I had no clue that Victoria's Secret was selling their own period underwear so it was a complete surprise to me and the reason why I got excited to review these is because not only are they more mainstream but they're sold at the mall and also because Victoria's Secret and Pink are just a very widely known brand for both older women and younger teenage girls and preteens. So it was very exciting to see the period underwear in such a mainstream way. I did order a few pairs. Um, like I said, I ordered these m a few months ago. It looks like I ordered these during the summer. So I've been using these for quite a while. So I know how well they hold up and how well they work. Um, I ordered four pairs, it looks like. I got them at the price of $16.50 each. I do know that Victoria's Secret tends to have a lot of sales, especially during the holidays, which we are in right now, if you want to check those out. I got the period panty in the hipster style because I just feel like hipsters complement my 
body and are more comfortable in general. I couldn't pick a lot of fun colors that I wanted because they were pretty sold out when I ordered. I think they had just recently become more popular or had just released. So I could only pick a few colors that weren't my first choice. Like I wanted a pair of black ones and they didn't have any black in stock at all at the time. So I may try to go back to their website and order more because spoiler alert, I did really like the underwear. Here's my little period panty underwear bin. I keep this in my closet on a shelf. I don't keep my period underwear with the rest of my underwear and the only reason is because I don't want to go searching through all my underwear to figure out which one is period panties and which one is not. And so I just leave it in a bin and then that way it also keeps like putting my laundry away really easy. I just throw stuff in bins. Like all of my underwear and socks are all just in bins because I use them so much. It just doesn't make sense anymore to fold them and put them away nicely because it just takes up too much time. This is the packaging that it comes in. It's very low profile packaging. I do really enjoy the fact that the packaging is not over the top. It says the absorbency level is two tampons, 14 milliliters, which I always crack up when I see that on labels of any period product because let's face it, Tampons all work differently in different people. For me, I realized that it seemed like I was bleeding a lot when using tampons, but then when I switched to cups, I actually wasn't bleeding as much as I thought. So the fact that these people think that they can actually measure the exact amount of a tampon's worth of absorbency in somebody is just, I don't really understand it. I feel like they're just guessing. Uh, but that's what it says. It's level absorbency is two tampons worth. And it says breathable, quick drying, leak protection, antimicrobial, silver, copper, zeolite, and silver, zinc, zeolite technology reduces odor causing bacteria on the gusset. I got this color. I got this maroon color. I I got this tie-dye color and then I got this army camouflage black and gray color as well. First off the bat when I pulled them out they reminded me a lot of bathing suit bottoms. Uh, the material itself was very slippery at first and I was like oh my gosh this is gonna be like thanks underwear it's gonna be super slippery my jeans are gonna slide down the back of them and I was kind of put off by it but after I washed them for the first time they do actually have more of a grabbier texture to them than a bathing suit and to thanks underwear. Thanks underwear you guys know I'm not a huge fan of them but in their defense I have not tried their underwear since they first came out years ago just because it was such a horrible experience with the company and also the how it was run at the time that I just was didn't want to review them again um, so they may have changed things on their end but their underwear was so slippery that I could not get my pants to stay up like my jeans would just slide off my butt my sweatpants would just slide off my butt so slippery fabrics when it comes to underwear is something that I'm very aware of especially if it's period underwear because I'm already uncomfortable and so I was a little bit put off again when I thought this was going to be like that, but it's actually a little bit grippier. So it kind of is slippery, but it's not. After you wash it, it becomes less slippery. When I first got the underwear, the padding part, which is the absorbency part, was really, really thin, like really thin. And I thought to myself that there was no way that these were going to actually be absorbent. But after I washed them, they did fluff up a little bit. So I do suggest washing your underwear before you use it for the first time. Inside the underwear, it has the padded lining part that is the absorbent area. I will say it's very well made. The stitching, everything is just really nice. Like these are really well made period underwear. I have actually tried numerous more expensive brands where honestly some of the stitching was already fraying or coming apart or after I washed it the padded part right here was already pilling and I've been using these for months now and they still basically look brand new. The way they have it gusseted not only underneath between where the legs go but also the top and the bottom of the pad it really does block the blood from leaking out which I really like but I will say that again, and I I say this all the time, but period underwear itself, unless you're having a light day where it's like towards the end of your period or right at the beginning of the period, are not meant to be worn on their own. I think they should be treated more as a sidekick to your favorite cup or tampons or what other, you know, reusable period product you use internally, um, but I don't think that they're a great on their own product because unlike pads, you can't just take them off and throw them away or wash them and change them out. You'd have to change out your whole entire underwear. And on my heaviest days, even though these kinds of underwear and this one did hold up, it was very uncomfortable. I felt like I was just sitting back in my own 
wetness, which was not fun. Getting back to being in these on my heaviest days, I did not have any leaking. I did not have any breakthrough bleeding inside my thighs. I didn't have any issues whatsoever with ruining pants or anything like that. But again, it was super uncomfortable. I did not like repeatedly sitting back down on wetness and then going to the bathroom and having to pull back up cold wetness. So yeah, I'll just leave it at that. In regards to comfort, these are extremely comfortable. Now I can't speak to the other styles. Again, these are just the hipsters, but the hipsters were really nice. They hugged everywhere. They didn't feel baggy in the crotch. I have some Madi body underwear that honestly it starts getting stretched out and like kind of diapery feeling below in between my legs if I wear them with like loose sweatpants and things like that. These were nice and tight around my bottom and my vaginal area and they just were really comfortable. Like there was just no, there was no stretching out or falling down or anything. They just fit really nice and snug. Washability, I don't hand wash my underwear and people are going to be probably frustrated with me by saying this, but I also don't rinse them in cold water after I use them before throwing them in the wash. I treat my period underwear basically like I treat normal underwear. Been this way since I started reviewing products, what? years ago. I don't even know how long I've been doing these. If I don't wear a cup or a tampon, well, let's face it, I don't use tampons because in my I personally I find them to be not good for you. But if I wear them without something internally and I'm just wearing them on their own, if I do have a lot of blood collected in them, I will wipe the blood out with toilet paper and, and then throw my underwear into the laundry basket and then wash it whenever I get to it. But I don't do like a cold rinse. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't soak, I don't hand wash, I don't hang dry. I throw my period underwear in with everything else that I would normally wash. And it's been years of doing it this way and I have never had an issue with A, my underwear, or B, any of the other clothing in the household. With that being said though, again, I unless I'm testing underwear for their absorbency for a review, I either am wearing a cup with my period underwear or I only wear my period underwear without a cup on my light days. So why I really love period underwear is not only does it catch my leaks in my cups when I am just lazy and I don't put it in right or I'm in a hurry, but it's also great because I can just wear these as my period's tapering off and I have that like two to three days of just like kind of br dark brown spotting that just for some reason never, it feels like it never ends, but obviously it only takes a couple of days after my period's done. All in all, I love these period panties. I love that they, in my opinion so far with everything that I've tested are the closest feeling to real normal underwear. I love that they're super accessible and I'm really quite impressed with the product itself in general. If you're looking for a more affordable and I guess more stylish or more close to underwear feeling period panty, I highly suggest these. I think they're great. I think they're great for all ages. You guys know I use period underwear. I keep going between the word panties and underwear because I can't quite figure out which one you're supposed to use. <laughs> but in regards to period underwear, you can also use it for other reasons. You know, if you're getting older in age or you just had a baby and maybe when you sneeze or jump still, you're kind of wetting yourself a little bit. Yeah, that's what happens after you have kids and as you get older, fun fact. They're great for that or maybe you're ovulating and if you're like me, I have a lot of discharge when I ovulate so sometimes I do feel more comfortable wearing a pair of period underwear. These period underwear are great for all sorts of occasions. You don't have to just wear them while you're on your period which makes the fact that these being so close to feeling and looking like normal underwear just that much better. So there you have it. There are my thoughts on the pink slash Victoria's Secret period underwear slash panties. I think I have a clip of myself in these and using them with I think real blood. It's been so long since I started this review and I bought these. It's been since like August, but I do think I have some clips of that. If I do, I will attach them to the end of this video for those of you who do want to see the real blood. If you're familiar with my period product reviews, I do show real blood in them for educational purposes. Um, and I think I do have a few shots of me actually in the underwear so you can see kind of how they fit. I myself am a extra small and they fit true to size. I've been wearing Victoria's Secret underwear since I was in junior high. I just love that they have hipster ones that fit really well. So I will say that if you are ordering some, 
just order with the normal size you normally would in underwear because they seem to be pretty on point in regards to sizing and waist size I'm a 25 and I'm 128 pounds if that helps with referencing for sizing as well but there you have it I'm gonna leave you guys with those clips that I mentioned prior with the real blood and me in this underwear thank you for watching as always thank you modern fertility for sponsoring today's video again I will leave my link to their website which gets you a discount on the test as well if you have any questions at all please feel free to leave them below follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm up to on a daily basis subscribe if you want to see more videos I post really random stuff and I will see you guys all in my next video bye all right guys, so I am on what I will say is day one of my period because I started bleeding last night. I had a cup in just in case. These are the tie-dye ones. I really like them a lot. The fit is actually pretty good. The material is a little bit thinner than I was expecting it to be. At first it kind of felt like a bathing suit, but it actually has more grip than the old Thinks ones that I have. I don't know if Thinks has changed their design, honestly, because you guys know how I feel about that company, so I haven't purchased any of their new stuff. but. It's weird, it's like not as slippery as a bathing suit, it's not as thick as a bathing suit, but it still has a really smooth finish to it. Um, they're not uncomfortable at all, they're actually very comfortable. I will say when I first took them out of the packaging though, I was a little bit like, ooh, these aren't going to be very well good, but I like these. We'll see how they do. I do have a cup in right now that I'm about to take out, and we'll see how leak proof they are. My body kind of played a little bit of a trick on me. I thought that I was on my period yesterday because I had my cup in and the great thing about a cup is you don't have to really check it. You just like leave it in as long as you're not leaking. Like you can just keep it in for 12 hours and empty it when you're in the shower later or whatever. So I was under the impression that I was on my period yesterday because I had a lot of dark brown bloody discharge um, in the morning when I woke up in my period underwear because I pre-slept with period underwear on when I get like closer to my period and like my flow app says, oh hey, you're about to start period, that's when I start wearing period underwear as a precaution because I have white sheets. Well, so apparently wasn't bleeding at all yesterday. That's fine. So I took off the Victoria's Secret underwear, I put them back on before I went to bed last night and sure enough, this morning when I woke up, started my period. I'm gonna do a little update of kind of what is going on there. Like I said, I just started my period and as I hopefully mentioned in the beginning of this video, I utilize period underwear for precaution, for a backup, and when I don't really wanna feel like putting a cup in, which is very rare, but there are times where I'm just feeling very lazy and my body's like, you know, I don't want anything inside of it right now. So I'll put on some period underwear while I'm just lounging around the house. With that being said, I don't ever just freely, openly bleed into my period underwear unless I'm testing it for you guys because it's just uncomfortable. I don't care who you are, I don't like pads, I always wore tampons with pads, like, it's just uncomfortable to sit in your own blood, regardless of what it's bleeding into. So, in regards to wearing these underwear at night to sleep in, just in case I start my period, which I did. Actually, I tend to always start my period, I feel like, overnight. But anyways, these worked really well. There was no leaking in my bed at all. There was no uh, leaking down my legs or anything like that. As you can see, I am actively bleeding and it caught it. It's pretty wet feeling. There's no uh, blood leaking through the other side. Um, it's pretty good. And then Kelly realized months later while editing this video that the card that was used to film the bloody clips was damaged and somehow all further clips were lost. To sum those lost clips up, the underwear did hold up really well on my heavy days. The blood you saw was just from the beginning of my period, which tends to be super light. Though it was really uncomfortable from the cold wetness after hours of wear because I was heavily bleeding, and the, but the gussets did work at trapping the blood. I still would suggest only using these as backups to other products or on lighter days because again, on my heavy days, I was switching my underwear out frequently. Smell-wise, these actually did the best out of all the other brands I've tried at containing the bacterial smell that develops from the period blood when it's exposed to air. I didn't have a single issue with them, and they did way better again than most of the other brands that I've tried. What should I review next?